Hey guys, Kuzmar here, back with another video. In this video today, I'm going to be drawing Ejiro Kirishima. Honestly, uh, I wasn't actually going to end up posting this, because I really didn't re like the way it came out. There are so many decisions I wish I made that I didn't make, and uh, I'll kind of express those um, in this video and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, in general, I, I kind of wish I would have just uh, done my kind of um, monochrome, monochromatic kind of coloring like I did with the uh, Seven Deadly Sins ones, one uh, with Meliodas. But hey, I guess it's kind of like one of those things that I'm glad I did it because, you know, now I know. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of limited on the amount of colors I have because I don't have that many markers and stuff for traditional work. So I kind of decided to take a leap. Um, that's why I've been doing monochromatic stuff because I can do what I want with one color and I know what I'm doing like that. Um, but I had such, I don't have very many colors to work with and I was like, you know what, I have uh, some really bright reds and I have some dark blues. And uh, one thing I do have are some very standard skin tones, so I can't do any like uh, special lighting or anything like that. So where the skin tone's like darker or something, it has to um, be a lighter uh, setting because of the colors I have uh, for my traditional um, utensils. But yeah, one of the things I, I wish I would have done was um, when coloring, instead of just doing the flats, um, I wish I would have uh, left open spaces uh, for, I guess you could call them shines, but um, to kind of replicate what I like doing in my digital work. Um, so I'd basically leave open uh, white spaces that I would fill in with the primary light source that's coming at him, which is going to be yellow. So uh, I, I wish I would have left open um, shine areas to demonstrate that yellow, to just be able to put in that yellow in those shine spaces so I can make that hard light feel really poppy. And I would have left in, um, uh, I would have left whites on the back edge of him, that left hand side of him, um, little, little whites. So that way I could then put in a blue black, blue back light. <laughs> um, and that's one of the things I wish I would have done. As you see here, I'm putting in complete flats. And I just, I didn't have uh, lighter colors to really try to like do a really light, uh, a very light um, base and then go over it with uh, darker, a darker one. So I don't know, I was kind of limited and I, there's a way to make this work and I didn't do it successfully and I was like, crap I, I wish this was this could have been so much better and uh, you know maybe I'll do it with my next one we gotta learn from our mistakes somehow you know plus <laughs> this is just like my part of my morning time practice and I, it just went into this like when I thought about drawing him I saw a picture of him on Instagram and then I was like you know what I think I have those colors uh traditionally so I went and drew my own version of him uh, while watching a show and then I just just for practice and then I went into this whole thing even now right now I'm kind of like looking at it doing this recording and I'm like darn it I don't, I don't know if I should be doing this I don't know if I should post this because <laughs> I'm also mad that um I didn't show the wrinkles enough in the white areas either and I'm, I'm just like oh man Man, I'm looking at it now. I'm just like, <sighs> who knows? Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself, but uh, I don't know. I expect a little bit more of myself in this. <laughs> no, Ajiro Kirishima deserves more than this. <laughs> okay, actually, I, I kind of like his friendship with uh, Bakugo, it's pretty funny, you know. It's not quite like a friendship. It's, I mean, it is, but it's not. I don't know. It's, it's pretty weird. But um, yeah, pretty much uh, all the markers I'm using in here are either Prisma or some like 
weird um, water-based kind of like cheap marker. And I don't know, the water-based cheap markers don't really lay down that well. And uh, yeah, not, not so good. And I'm not using hardly any Copics. Basically, the only um, color that laid down really well was the skin color. And then I did the dark areas with the Prisma color, which the Prisma colors aren't as good as Copics. And so it kind of made it feel a little weird. But uh, yeah, the Prisma are definitely better than the water-based ones. So when I used the water-based ones, I definitely wasn't a fan of it. But um, m most of this is done with the Prisma colors. But in any case, it's coming up close to the end here. And I uh, hope you guys like how it's turning out, even though I didn't. I didn't like it, you know, I had to make sure I at least post stuff though, so, you know, I wanted to get it up, I wanted to get it up, and you can see here that, um, I'm actually trying to, uh, put in some of those whites that I missed out on, but, with the white out and trying to put in some shines and stuff, but, it helped a little bit, but not, not what it would have done if I did what I was talking about, but. In any case, yeah, it's coming up close to the end here. I hope you guys like how it's turning out, like I said. And uh, if you guys want to help support my art, support what I do on this channel, you guys can go check out my Patreon link in the description. You get exclusive tutorials and also like my art vlog stuff and, and things like that. But uh, in this moment, I want to take the time to thank my current Patreons, Sao Ruvakpa. Ashley Elizabeth, Norman, Yuli Namikaze, Woody Olis, Mong Soon, Illusion, Heke Palage, Sam Tiddenly, Wear My Crown. These are the best pencil shinobis there are. The best pencil shinobis that allow me to be able to do content on YouTube like this and do it more frequently. But yeah, in any case, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, like what you see, please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day, and like always, I'll see you guys in the next video.